Hey guys, Rock and Robo back again with some more story mode challenge. So me and Sharika are here for a, another bout of Hero Coliseum battling. We beat um, Goldo, I believe, in the last one, the master of the Hero Coliseum, obviously. Yeah, let's talk. Come on, who wants to get beaten by my OP deck next? My OP deck that I, t <laughs> I used in a ranked game the other day. You saw it, it was against a low level player, so, you know. I just would have been so funny if that person had pulled out all these massive UR figures and just like, haha, I'm just smurfing on this account. So, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, that didn't happen. Because even though I'm reasonably good at this game, I don't think I could have battled some really good figures and really good decks with these, um, with these ones. So. Come on, load. God, this... I can't skip past this, which is what's annoying. Oh, it's Nappa. I forgot that we fought Nappa. I am the figure battle master. Yes, because I defeated Goldo, so I've now taken his crown. Oh, I'm fighting the Cyberman. Stare at Nappa. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit, this has some funny writing, the story mode of this, but because it's not voiced, it really kills a lot of it. Like, I would I would sit here and watch through all of it if it, they'd done the voice acting for it. But they didn't, so, you know. It's just boring reading through the script when they can't be bothered to voice it. Three, so Oops, sorry. Three Cybermen, Vegeta, and Frieza. Okay, so they're lovely, aren't they? Uh, KDA. Okay, that could be annoying. Um, right, Goku Black down the middle. This is going to be basically our strategy henceforth. Basically because the, the key to this deck now is getting future Gohan strong enough so that he can just blow everything away on his own. So doing that means that if somebody has to get sacrificed every turn, that's fine. The problem is, oh, as I get higher up, my master's not going to be able to take much damage. So if she gets smacked a few times, then she'll just die. Well, I don't like that. Right, so we're going to have to change things up a little bit, I think. Bang. Nice one, Bardock. RNG is my friend in this. <laughs> I have I have tried to record some um, ranked battles this morning, but RNG just fucked me over so hard in every single game. And I was just getting so angry at it. It wasn't even commentary. It was just me yelling at the RNG at how bullshit it was. To top it all off, what made it the worst one was I was two figures down, um, 6,000 HP behind, and my opponent got the Spirit Bomb and I didn't. And just after that, I was like, no. No more. I can't. Not anymore. Um, Bardock can one-shot anything I put down. If we go... Let's go with that. I actually took a hell of a risk there, because I could take a lot of damage to uh, Sharika this turn. No! No! Oh, no, I've lost to a Cyberman. I can't. I can't watch. I lost to a Cyberman. Oh, my God, it ended my life. I lost to a... Cyberman. If I put Goku Black down instead of... Yeah, but then I wouldn't have been fast enough. Or I wouldn't have been able to do enough damage. Uh, let's tr try that... Let's try that. 
And he's completely changed his strategy. Okay. The idea was that we um, we double hit him down the middle and protect the right. Also, wow, my deck is so slow. Oh god, my tea's still too hot. I can't have a drink of that yet. God, Jiren's gonna die, is it? Wow. Okay. So Jiren's dead. Um, Vegeta's dead though. So that's something at least. Right. And that does at least buff up Gohan a bit more. I, I think it's still a couple of episodes before I can try and um, get some reinforcements anyway, so... I wasn't going to wait until I'd actually hit a point where I couldn't win anymore. Because that'll come soon. As soon as they start getting 6,000 health on their figures, it's going to be a struggle. Um, right... One across the board, that'll kill two of the Cybermen. Which will just leave the one Goku Black is against, because Goku Black can't kill the... Oh my god, Gohan's going to die if I go second. I think Gohan's dead off that. I don't think there's any way he can survive this. Ho oh, ho ho, I stand corrected. I can't believe Gohan just lived that. Well, at least Goku Black's a bit stronger now. These Cybermen are good! <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked by Cybermen, for Christ's sake. No! Thank you! God damn it! <laughs> I couldn't afford to not get the kill this turn. I mean, that puts him up to 100%. I don't think Goku Black's going to be able to get the kill here. Counter-attack? Yes. Okay, so all three Cybermen are dead, so it's just Freezer. Well, the saying goes, better lucky than good, and I think this game, this match here has um, demonstrated that. Bang. So that just leaves Freezer, who's going to go down the middle. So all I need to do is throw Bardock and uh, Gohan down there. Not since I don't like taking chances. There we go. We're literally going to be pretty damn fast here with Slug and Gohan down. And there we go. Guarantees the first. GG, Cyberman. Christ. I can't believe I lost to the... Cy I have my ultimate? I didn't even know that. Oh well, go on, go on. You can end this. There we go. I did not even realise I had my ultimate. It's nice to see I pay attention, isn't it? Right, so that makes up for the crushing failure of the first round against the Cyberman. Now we've got to stand up to whoever's next. But man, this is getting this is getting tougher. I mean, I got I played kind of cockily in that one. I was a little too overconfident in the first one. Just like, oh, it's just a Cyberman. What's it going to do? I also just got a Goku Black figure, a rare one. Hey, you leave those Cybermen alone. Yeah, go away. Leave the Cybermen alone. I'll stand up for him. Nothing like a nice sip of tea after victory. Bulma, I don't care. This story sucks. No, the story doesn't suck. It just sucks that you don't have any voices done for it. By the way, I can't wait for um, Dragon Ball Heroes to come out. That's um, that's gonna be awesome later in the year. I am actually, I am gonna get that, and I will play that on the channel. So sort of. I'll pretty much do a, 
if there's, I'm not sure what there is in there, to be honest. If there's a story mode, I'll play through all that and I'll keep playing everything else on it as well. Because I can't wait for that. That should be good. Um, what other games will I play in the future? Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, when that comes out, I will play whichever one of those two I get. I'm not sure which one I will get. But I will, um, I will play that when the uh, time is right. I think I'll just battle this guy. Because we don't have a lot of time left, but yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield I will play. Uh, I am thinking of getting Jump Force and doing some gameplay on that. Um, what else is on the horizon? Might get the new FromSoft game. Not sure yet. That does look good, but I'm not sure if it's something I play on the channel. A bit like Dark Souls. I tried doing that. That wasn't very popular. And doing it for the channel kind of got a bit boring, so... Same with Bloodborne. I love Bloodborne, but I wouldn't play it on the channel. It's just... I just... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I think, I've, I, think I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. I've definitely bitten off more than I can chew here. We are going first, at least. And we get the 300, although 180 would have done. Okay. I forgot how tough some of these city battles were. I honestly haven't done them in ages, so... Okay, that's fine. Didn't need the counter-attack, because Bardock will kill him. Unfortunately, Bardock will die to Freezer, I think. Yeah, Bardock's definitely going to finish that off, although I think he would have had enough attack anyway. Okay, Goku Black didn't do very much damage there, but, you know, I don't expect him to at the minute. I think Bardock would have done enough had uh, Gohan not got the counter-attack. Would have been close. Damn it, I kind of wanted him to kill Bardock then, because that would have buffed me up a bit. Okay, so Goku Black's a bit stronger now. Oh, God. They're getting stronger. Right. Two direct hits on the Master from me will do a lot of damage. But he's going to do a lot of damage as well. And he's faster. Well, we're going first. <laughs> I don't know if I really wanted to go first there. How much damage are you going to do, Gohan? 4-3. That's not bad. I nearly pressed the uh, wrong button combo then. You see, the counter-attacks, I don't really mind the R... When it comes to RNG in this game, there's too much of it, and I don't, I don't mind a little bit of RNG. That's fine. But when your game is completely RNG-oriented, literally everything... Everything is RNG orientated. The amount of damage you do, the counter attacks, the spirit bomb. All of it. It's just ridiculous. The speed multiplier. Everything. It's just. There's too much. It is just complete. It's RNG. It's Hero Coliseum RNG. There's nothing else. Doesn't matter how good your strategy is. If RNG is not on your side for that game, you are going to lose. It is as simple as that. Unless your opponent really screws up or they have an inferior deck. But like I say, you know, it, it really kills enthusiasm for it at times, especially when, like, I played so many games earlier trying to get just one good game. And I couldn't. I physically couldn't get one good game. Because every time I tried, it would just screw me over with RNG and it got to the point where I was like no fuck this <laughs> I mean I've literally been okay I've been recording for Dragon Ball stuff in general for about an hour and a half now and this is the only video that will get out that's how much RNG has just been absolutely destroying me because 
my videos weren't to, they weren't videos they weren't me doing commentary they were just me shouting and ranting about rng constantly i mean i can't, i guess i've kind of done that during this but there's not much else to talk about this battle is pretty easy okay well then gohan uh slug won't get a kill but he will at least be able to take the hit from freezer oh god and Goku Black will get the kill on this Freezer figure. Because he's actually got some decent attack. I spoke too soon. Goku Black is dead instead. <laughs> At least I think he is. I don't think... Uh, nah. Freezer didn't do a lot of damage, but... And the sun's gone in, which has plunged my this entire room into darkness. Wonderful. Right, Gohan, go there. Hang on, now I've got, I'm just going to go and open my curtains. <laughs> my curtains were closed because the light was too bright and it was shining on my TV and I couldn't see a thing, but now I have to open them, otherwise I can't see a thing. I have like these blackout curtains, so when I close them, they like completely block out the light. It's really good at night because um, then I can just close them. And, uh, I can control how much light is in the room just with my uh, my lamp here. And Gohan's going to win this with a Kamehameha. So I don't know whether this should count in the the same list as um, the other ones where I've beaten the actual story mode. Then again, it is part of the same. It's the same team. I'm just thinking for the stats that uh, Emmanuel puts up. Master level 18. We've got a Goku and attack up 01. Interesting. I actually got an 01 skill off of that. Anyway, that takes us over the 17 minute mark. So I shan't waste any more of your time. If you're still watching, thank you so much for your support as always. If you've enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. For more of my Hero Coliseum battles, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notifications of when I upload new videos. And I will see you all next time.